Hey guys, what's going on? Now today I'm going to do a video on truss warming. What is truss warming? It's basically just lighting up your truss with LED lights. You do this from inside of the trussing itself. And the aluminum truss, like what we have here, reflects that color and makes things look really cool. So for demonstration purposes, I've built this, what they call like a goal post truss system. It's two totems connected with trussing on the top. There are a lot of different ways to warm truss and various ways to control your lights once they're in there. But today, we're going to look at what's called static color, which is just one color. We're going to program three different lights to do the same color and put them in our truss. Today, we're going to be using these ADJ Ultra Hex Par 3s. Now, what we're going to do is use these up and down arrows to find a color that we like. I don't know, the blue's kind of nice. Let's go with that. Take the other two lights that you're going to use and do the same thing. Make them blue. Let's go ahead and do our first light. Now what I'm going to do is feed in the power first. I'm going to go down here like so. so. There's our power cable. Now we have to get our light inside of our trussing. There are several different sizes of lights that you're going to be using probably for warming truss. This particular one fits in real nice just like this. Real easy to do. You don't have to remove the bracket or anything. And it's plenty bright. So I like using small lights like this. Now once you get it in, you can go ahead and plug it in. Once you have it plugged in, set it upright, and you've warmed the first half of your truss. Now just do the same thing on the other side of your trussing system. And you end up with something that looks like this. But there's something missing. The top isn't warmed up yet. If you look at one of the top corners, you'll notice it's nice and bright here as far as your truss warming. This doesn't look bad right now, but as we move over, you'll see it's not very dynamic here. We're going to need a third light. Now, where does that third light go? It wouldn't go here because you're getting direct LED from the bottom. You probably want to put it right about here. So first things first, you run a power cable, which I've already done. I've got one right here. And once again, you feed in your light. Now when you do this, the yoke actually comes in handy. The yoke is this bracket that hangs down on your light. You can use this yoke to help support your light. I'm going to be able to feed it in right here, and then go back. I can adjust this yoke just a little bit here and there to make it fit real nice inside of that truss. Once you have it in, no problem, just plug your light in. And look at that. We have now warmed horizontally. And now as you can see, the truss is warmed evenly. Horizontally and vertically looks nice. So there's a quick video on truss warming for you in its most basic form static color with LED PAR fixtures. We're going to do another video real soon on controlling the colors within our truss. So truss warming with changing color and how to control that, some different options for you. So stay tuned for that. Until then, practice and enjoy. 